I'd like to introduce my version of the Paramdev magnet motor. Now this motor is basically an inner and outer ring of magnets which are aligned in such a way that the repulsive and attractive properties of the magnets allow them to spin the inner ring or rotor to power a generator. Now to better visualize the concept I want to show you a video that's going to help illustrate what is going on with the motor. The science project here demonstrates the basic concept of the magnet motor. By forcing the magnet projectile through a row of magnets aligned at an angle, we can achieve acceleration. Now imagine that this setup is in a closed loop instead of a straight line, and you have the basic idea of the Parandev magnet motor. Now here's a quick demonstration of the Parandev motor and its basic functionality. Now the reason we have three sets of stators and rotors is because the configuration of the magnets in the rotor would be physically impossible to achieve. This is because the design calls for a specific spacing in between each of the magnets. As you can see in the illustration here, the design blueprints call for one inch magnets in the stator with a one inch gap in between each stator magnet. The rotor uses one inch magnets as well, but requires a half inch space in between each magnet. Notice the polarity of the magnets also plays a role in the design of the machine. The rotor magnets are axially magnetized, while the stator magnets are diametrically magnetized. Here is an illustration to explain what is going on with the sequence of the magnet motor. The illustration clearly shows the phases that each rotor magnet goes through as it passes by each stator magnet. Now my intentions are to print this prototype out with a 3D printing service and test its functionality. I'll obtain the correct size magnets which my design was created for by K&J Magnetics and the bearings from an online supplier, most likely ceramic bearings. So on to my design. As you can see here I'm using 24 rotor magnets and 18 stator magnets. I've aligned them according to the design. Now the concept behind my design was to make it as simple as possible so that minimal assembly would be required. The only thing that would have to be done is to secure the magnets and bearings in the right position and align the assemblies. At the same time, it is on a smaller scale to keep the cost of building one of these as low as possible. Here we have the rotor magnets and their housing. Each set of rotors is separated and aligned by these separators. I've created end pieces that will fit the inner part of the bearings. and these are the bearings to illustrate how it would fit around the rotor end. These are the end pieces for the stator and these are the stators themselves and the separators. Sequence one Once this is complete, my hope is that the rotor will spin a drive shaft connected to a generator. What I expect to achieve with sharing my design with you is to spark some interest and perhaps generate some funds to further refine my design and bring it to the real world. This idea has been burnt into my mind, and the only way I can think of dismissing it is to prove whether or not it will work. Thank you for watching.